Hi, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. After a little break, um, I would like to start my um, review again of my week or weeks. So the first thing we did recently was um, supporting a TV show, bringing some virtual audience onto their stage. We created like five by five screens to this uh, to this stage so the artists had some audience they could interact with also we added um, four video endpoints into two different hospitals so the artists could with live interaction surprise the people the patients in the hospitals so that was quite a, a good experience and I'm happy to share more just let let us know quickly the difference regarding k7 and k9 order ids k7 is a unencrypted device k9 is an encrypted device so um, mostly throughout the world we sell the k9 version so it's also important like when you would like to register the device to the webex cloud it definitely has to be a, an encrypted version and it's also important to note that we cannot add encryption after the hardware has been bought. So it, it has to be the right hardware from the beginning. Um, I also quickly wanted to mention that there is quite an extensive desktop pro video um, I created. So it guides you through uh, most of the features and functionalities the device has and how you can use it so please feel free and have a look at it I'll link it in the description or also in this video directly here regarding um, Webex room navigator I wanted to give a quick update so from this this week on we will deliver the Webex room devices, this being like the Room 55, Room 70, Panorama, uh, the Room Kits, um, as well as the Room Kit Mini, the Webex Sports, with the new Webex Navigator, Webex Room Navigator, um, the Codec, so the Codec Plus and the Codec Pro will follow sometime next month. I would like to refer once more to the API examples we have so we have a whole like script collection um, of our uh, scripts we can use for in-room control so please feel free have a look at them use them they're of great value for you and all for your customers there is a new Webex room security guide out there since December so if you have any security related question to our Webex devices, please have a look at this guide. I'll also refer to it in the description. Um, it's quite an extensive one and I'm sure it's helping you for convincing customers that our devices are indeed secure and they're not a uh, security risk. I did have the question for um, like billing codes, to use billing codes within the company. So if you have Webex meetings used within your company and you would like to bill it to certain departments we have a so-called tracking code in Webex it has to be made available from from our side so please get in touch with us to to do so but this will allow you to have a field the user does not see and you can then use to build a user or the department based on his billing code that was it already. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope it was of help and looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you very much and bye bye.